probably the two funniest dudes in bodybuilding. About to cook up some breakfast right now. Beautiful sunny Sunday. Well, it's sort of sunny. But anyways, guys, big day today. Very excited. I'm gonna go. Uh, gonna go up north. Take like a 45 minute drive and visit my coach. Talk to him for a little bit. Discuss some things and um, see my friend Ryan, who you guys may have seen in a video back in August, who competed in an NPC show, got in crazy shape. So um, we're just gonna meet up, lift, probably chill for a little bit, and that's it. So I'm gonna cook up this breakfast, and uh, there's gonna be a lot going on in this video, hopefully, and a big announcement at the end. So stay tuned, guys, and uh, yeah, that's it. I'll show you what's for breakfast. And that's how you make oats. I'm gonna eat this and hit the road. See you guys then. What up peeps? Just left my coach's crib a second ago. I'm trying to drive away from the rain right now, but that breakfast went right through me. So I'm gonna stop and get a little snack before I hit the gym in 25 minutes. Cause I don't want to be bloated or digesting, but I need something cause it's gonna be a brutal workout hopefully. So let's get something. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Pretty sweet M's right there. Gym time. is you know it, it, these are clutch i want to get out. all right guys we made it to the zoo right now getting the workout in we got ryan hitting our first exercise here on chest fly cables pretty legit machine get it bro So I'm letting Ryan lead this workout because he's got a little bit of shoulder pain these days. As do I from benching, but I work around it usually. We chose this exercise, this exercise, and it feels damn good. Pretty much feels exactly like a bench press, but you're forced to keep your shoulders back. You can't really rely on the bar to adjust, so watch it in. Very recommended. Let's go. outside Panera Bread right now. By the road a little bit too, so it might get a little loud, but after warming up on the flies, me and Ryan got into this exercise, which is actually pretty badass. I meant to have my elbows pretty much touching my ribcage, and it kind of felt like that, but now it kind of just looks like a, kind of elbows tucked, almost like a Matt Ogus style uh, 
dumbbell press, or at least who else does it like that? Maybe Big J. But yeah, the whole key is to keep the elbows within 45 degrees, so a little bit more tucked. I tried to shoot for having them pretty much stuck to my body, but that wasn't uh, exactly how it came out. But either way, felt incredible. I have been getting a little bit of right shoulder impingement from benching so often and so heavy and getting some of those grinder reps, but this made irritated it completely, completely avoided irritating it. Sorry, it's a little distracting. And I'm gonna have to cut the voice over there because it got way too loud outside of Panera. Unfortunately, it was a great voiceover in my opinion, but uh, whatever, let's just get back to it. Um, that exercise, neutral grip dumbbell press is very, very nice. If you like to bench press heavy, I think it's a very good assistance exercise. And if benching bothers your shoulders, it's a really good main movement to work on. So give it a shot, guys. I'm definitely into it, and I'm gonna be hitting it for sure in the near future. But for the workout, we did about four working sets on flies, about four sets on that um, dumbbell press, and we just did a few sets here, with the last set being really slow, or eccentric and concentrics until failure, and then just some of those deep half reps. And always trying to work on the triceps, as you guys know. And uh, so we have four sets of dips and then another tricep exercise after that. Here it looks like I'm not going to 90 and I'm not going to 90 degrees, but for the first few sets I went to 90 every rep and just felt like intense on my shoulders because they were super tired from stabilizing the dumbbells, so I kept it a little higher. And this new exercise I'm trying after seeing a Ben Pakulski video, which I'm gonna put right here and it's gonna cover my ass sweat. Um, but yeah, try this exercise. I'll put a little link in the description. Um, it's Ben Pakulski's YouTube channel, which I wouldn't say all the videos are that informative. They're kind of whatever, but it was a really interesting uh, method behind training triceps. And I felt no elbow pain, really good intense contractions. So I recommend it if you guys are looking for a new tricep exercise for sure. And we finished up with this little isolator attachment. You slide your hand through. It's not the isolator brand, but it's a similar concept. We did seven sets and just tried to kill the delts. And that was pretty much it for the workout. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry about the double voiceover. The first one was better, but that's it. Bye, peace. It. Really good meal, guys. All right, let me set this right here. The official background and the tripod I use is gangsta. <coughs> Whoa, that's so good. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that voiceover in the beginning of the video. I actually haven't made it yet, so I have no idea what it was like, but I hope it wasn't too bad. So, the announcement I wanted to make, I'm officially going to begin doing some online coaching for training and nutrition, or one or the other, just training, just nutrition. Um, for those of you that don't know, I was personal training at LA Fitness earlier this year, so I am an NASM certified personal trainer, which really honestly doesn't mean much, but what I'm bringing to um, anyone that's interested is pretty much eight years of training experience, um, a few years of experience, really, really getting into my nutrition as far as losing weight, gaining weight, cutting, bulking, and competing and dieting for a, sh for a couple shows. And as I'm wrapping up this year, I am picking another show to begin another diet process as well. I have worked with a coach um, for my last contest for training and nutrition, but I structured my own training mostly and he really just helped me out with the diet and really getting my physique to where we wanted it to be because it's kind of hard to do alone. But anyways, <clears throat> this isn't gonna really be a sales pitch because if you guys want help with training and you want help with nutrition, you already know how I train and you already know how I eat. So yeah, that should sell itself if you guys are interested. I'm not gonna convince, try to convince anyone that uh, I would be better than anyone else. It's just a matter of what your goals are, if your goals are to build muscle, to build mass, to learn about nutrition, to learn about supplementation, or to lose weight, specifically body fat, I'd love to help. So prices are gonna be on the lower end of what I would have, of what I've seen on a lot of uh, YouTubers that may have a larger following or have been doing it longer, which makes sense to me. And I'm gonna put a new email below for my coaching services. And you can email me directly and I'll give you the prices. It's gonna be, <clears throat> 
the most would be training and nutrition, and then if you just want training or just nutrition, it'll be a little bit cheaper. So that's pretty much all I wanted to say. I didn't really think much about this. I've just been dying to get it out there for you guys. I've been working on a questionnaire and a little bit of a, a couple documents I'll need you to sign, which I'll just flash here really quick. But yeah, that's taken me a little bit to get structured properly, and I'd like to get a website going and everything. But at first, I just want to start working with some people. I'm not going to be able to take on a lot of clients because I am going to start back school in the spring. But if um, the client, if I get a lot of clients and you know the business or what I like to do goes well, I'll probably take a lot less classes so I can focus on that. And and that's pretty much it. Uh, just really quick. Uh, before I cut this off, I have run the cube method, which I still have my outline for. I've done 531 for about eight months, which I had really good progress with. And that's really it for official programs I've tried to run. I've done push, pull, legs, repeat. So that would be push, pull, legs, push, pull, legs in a day off in a week. I've done the complete bro split, like chest Monday, back Monday. And there's different things for different people that work. Um, I wouldn't recommend trading once a week. But two to three times per week and working within injuries and limitations is definitely the way to go for usually a three to five day split. So if that's the type of thing I would be designing for each person. And of course, no one will have the same program because nobody's at the same level, has the same injuries and experience. So that's completely out of the question and as it is with dieting. So contact me at that email and I'd be more than happy to help you guys out. Anyone that's interested, if you just have questions or whatever, just email me and that's it. I'm very excited guys and I hope that anyone that's interested does contact me, but that's gonna be that and uh, yeah, peace. And really quick before I go, I will be doing contest prep as far as helping you guys get in shape for a contest if you'd like, but I'm not gonna have a price that's more expensive specifically for contest prep, we'll just be working a little bit more diligently on nutrition and getting to leaner levels of body fat that I would not advise someone to get to with just the regular nutrition program. And of course, supplementation and everything will be included too. So hit me up guys, thank you.